Greetings to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I have a word of encouragement and direction for you. Every single day, I release this word of encouragement. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can join the community that is next to the subscribe button and you can be a blessing. Also, if you want me to pray with you, you can send me your prayer request through my WhatsApp number, through my email address, and I will pray with you. There's also another way you can be a blessing to this ministry. That is through giving in my PayPal account. My PayPal is in the About section. Now, my brothers and sisters, today's amazing word is they are waiting for you to fall down and die. Who are they that I'm talking about? Your enemies are waiting for you. They are waiting for the day you say that I give up. So, my word for you today is don't give up. Don't you ever give up, brother. Don't you ever give up, sister. Some of you have been praying over that situation for so long. Some of you have stood your ground. You have stood all throughout the storm, throughout the intimidation. God has not brought you this far just to give up. You have not come this far just to abandon yourself. You know, there are people that, you know people, there are people that abandon themselves. They think that God has abandoned them and yet they have abandoned themselves. They abandon themselves. There are people that reject themselves. People don't reject them, but they choose to reject themselves. Don't reject yourself. Accept who you are. Accept that that is a way go, that's the way God made you. You are beautiful. You are perfectly made. You are fearfully and the Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are his works. You are fearfully. Everything about you is perfect. There is nothing wrong, wrong about you. Some of you despise the way you speak. You despise the way you walk. Don't despise yourself. There's a reason as to why God made you that way. Some of you despise your, your, your nationality, your race. Don't ever despise yourself. You are created in God's image. My brothers and sisters, don't you ever give up on yourself. Some of you are bedridden, I know. Some of you are going through conditions that the doctor said you'll never get up again. But I want to encourage you that if God says yes, no one can say no. If God opens for you a door, no man can shut it. So don't you ever give up on yourself. And above all, don't give up on God. That is the most important thing you can do. Never to give up on God. Then don't, don't to give up on God. Because God has never given you. God has never given up on you. My brothers and sisters, I know people have been waiting for you. Just like the Apostle Paul. Why he was on the island called Malta. He had just come out of a shipwreck. The natives around that, 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 that island, they first showed him unusual kindness. Now when they saw a snake that had beaten him, they waited for him to die. In fact, they said that he was a murderer. They said that he was a murderer. But they waited and waited. But when they saw that Paul did not die, the Bible says that they changed their minds and said that he was a God. My brothers and sisters, hold on to Jesus. Because those, are, those, those that are waiting for you to die are going to change their minds. They will start saying that you are a child of God. That you have Jesus in you. That you are different. That you are unique. People that used to put you down are the ones that are going to start praising you. So don't you give up on God. Brothers and sisters, I have come to the end of this word. I hope this word has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Remember to keep praying. Keep having the faith in God. And God will lift you up. Until next time, Shalom.